Good afternoon, everybody. Morning, afternoon, evening, wherever it is you're watching from. Uh, I figured I'd do a, a end of month for March uh, revenue review, I guess you could say. Uh, I was gonna do these pretty regular, and then uh, I guess I, I don't know, I just didn't. So. I figured I'd start doing it again. Uh, I also, maybe when I get back home, do a, uh, like a, a one for last year. And then March was the one year of authority. I guess you, not really one year of authority because actually I started the authority back in December, but I was still working in the oil field until March. So I, I technically didn't start with this truck until March 15th, I believe. So maybe do a one year with the truck from March to March, possibly. But uh, anyway, March of 2022, it was a pretty decent month. Uh, I took like a week and a half off. So that kind of helped me back a little bit. But the uh, total revenue for the month of March was $31,516. Uh, total mileage, overall mileage for March was 11,197 miles. Uh, the normal expenses, fuel, $6,845.11. Uh, oil and ads, $233.45. Parts and maintenance, $2,909.62. Supplies, $100.75. Scales, uh, cat scales, $50. Permits, I had $236.79 for permits. Tires last month was a little high because I changed uh, three, four, four tires, I think. Uh, tires come out to $1,311.65. I had parking, $61. Uh, showers, uh, $27.50. Tolls, that included the prepass fee and tolls, $121.45. My insurance, $1,202. And the load board, $39. Also, I had a uh, dispatch fee. Uh, are the dispatch costs for my dispatcher $2,521.28 and also had factoring at $787.90 so total revenue for the month of March $31,516 uh, loaded revenue per mile 344 a mile uh, total revenue per mile, 282 a mile. There's also uh, three, right at 300 miles that I had driven at the house, going from the house to the tire shop and back, uh, the house up to running around town, getting some little things uh, that I was doing to the truck. That's that's factored into the total revenue per mile. Also, uh, I didn't take that out, so that kind of like i said that factors into the 282 also uh that would have been higher if i would have took that out but miles on the trucks miles on the truck so i'm gonna add them in total fuel gallons used 1566.6 gallons uh so at 11,197 miles, that gives me an, uh, my, my mile per gallon for the month of March at 7.2. And my actual fuel cent per mile for the month of March was 61 cents per mile. So that left me with a net revenue for the month of March at 15,000 and $68 so not bad it would have been like I said it would have been a little higher uh, if it wasn't for the tires also the $1,400 seat that I put in uh, there was a, a little more you know the caliper and 
the other stuff that I bought for the trailer that was uh, like seven hundred eighty dollars. Also, uh, so this month the expense the expense side this month was a, considerably more than what it normally is. So I should have been up around the uh, about seventeen five for net revenue, but. Like I said, $31,516 total revenue, 344, a loaded mile, uh, 7.2 miles to the gallon, and 61 cent per mile fuel costs for net $15,068. So that's, you know, in, in my eyes, that's, that's pretty good. Again, that doesn't include what I pay myself, I, you know, I don't feel like that's anybody's business. Uh, I will tell you, I, I'll tell you this, the, the way I normally pay myself is uh, I pay myself 30% of the gross minus fuel. And the reason, that's not actually what I pay myself, but I pay myself 30%, I take 5% and set it into savings. I take 3% of that and give it to me to eat and whatnot while I'm on the road. And then 22 or uh yeah, 22% of that goes to the household bills, you know, my I guess you could say my my pay. Uh, that's the way I do it. It works out good for me. Uh that five percent that gets put back into savings that's just for a i guess you could say a oh crap fund also uh that's not including what i normally i normally take 40 percent of what's of what the truck makes and set it back into the business savings uh and then i try to run the business on what's left in the the checking account and that's paying you know the dispatch fuel everything else out of there it's been working out pretty good so far so you know why change what's what's not broke i guess you could say also that you know the money and savings if i have a big expense i'll pull out of there kind of like the expense i'm fisting to have for the transmission and the gear uh, you know I'll, I'll pull out of savings or i'll transfer from the business savings back into checking to cover that uh i actually have it broke down as far as you know what it costs me to operate uh fuel wise you know my maintenance and all that and uh so i, I know what it costs to run run the truck and when I'm figuring out, you know, when, when my dispatcher calls and, or I find a load, either he finds a load or I find a load, you know, and we're looking at the rate per mile, you know, I know what I need to be at to know whether or not I need to take that load. Uh, and that, that also comes into play when you're, you know, doing oversize. Uh, so yeah, that is my 20. 20 or March 2022 breakdown 31,516 total 15,068 net 7.2 average mile per gallon 61 cents on my fuel cost uh, my cent per mile so not a bad month hopefully this month will be a little better I don't know we'll have to see I'm planning on taking off uh, the week of Easter so just see how see, see what we can do from now until then and then what we can do afterwards but like I said I'll uh, I'll try to start doing these every month I thought about doing like weekly breakdowns but I don't know it's too much <laughs> I don't know if y'all would like to see weekly breakdowns I guess I could show you I did do uh last week was 13 four so pretty uh not a bad week
Not a bad week. So, anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll holler at y'all later. Be safe. See you down the road.